Hi everybody, welcome to Lesson 6. Today we're going to look at single stroke rolls. Hi everybody, welcome to Istanbul Mehmet Symbols Rudiment Series. My name's Graham Hare. As I said, this is lesson six. Today we're going to take a look at single stroke rolls. If you don't already know what a single stroke roll is, it's just your hands alternating one after the other. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Alternate if you're left-handed. Now you can create many, many usable grooves and fills with a single stroke roll. Here's an example of a very, very common single stroke roll groove, often referred to as 16th notes. If you haven't already played that, I bet you've seen it played in, in other con musical contexts. Now, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to take that 16th note groove and I'm going to play it in five different ways around the kit. I'm going to play the same bass groove throughout. The bass groove's going to be... And as I said, I'm going to play five different hand patterns on top of that groove. So let's run through the hand patterns first. Here's number one. Just using the hi-hat and the snare. Groove number two, I'm going to simply put my left hand on the snare drum. So you want to play your snare nice and light with your left hand. Nice big accent on your right hand, very light on your left. Third groove, I'm going to put both hands on the snare drum. So lots of tap strokes and one single downstroke to bring out the accent. Groove four, I'm going to place my right hand on the ride, left hand on the hi-hats. And the final groove, I'm going to use the toms, like this. Starts with the second tom, with my right hand, left hand on the first tom. I may throw in the occasional floor tom as well, so I'll be making this type of um, shape on the drums. So here we go, the main groove on the bass, here we go, all five grooves, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there were the five separate grooves. I'm just going to pick on the first one now and just basically demonstrate that you can lock in to a single stroke roll, whether you're playing a groove or a fill, and it's very easy to, to maintain the feel and play effective fills without breaking the, the structure of your hands. So it's always going to be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. I can move around the kit pretty much anywhere I want to go as long as I play 16 notes around the, the, the drum set, okay? Here we go. I just 
just thought I'd briefly mention accents while we're, we're talking about single stroke rolls. The groove that I played earlier... ...requires good accent control. What you've got is the main bulk of the groove. I'm playing tap strokes. And then I've got one up, down. An up and a down. That creates the accented note. Up, down. Up, down. That's on my right hand. Of course, you can add accents on your left hand. Very quick accent challenge for you to try at home to get your right and left hand accents nice and clean. You've got 16 notes in a, in a bar of semiquavers, a bar of 16th notes. Try and individually accent each one. I'm not going to accent each one. I'll just run through the first four or five. So here we go. One. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one. And so on. You can go through the whole the whole bar, making sure you can cleanly play each accent on right and left hands, and it really opens up the possibilities you have within that sixteenth north feel. Now you can also change the position of the accent to create different time fields. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a half time field. In a normal bar of 4-4, four, four, your main accents on the snare should be on 2 and 4, like this. 1, 2, D, 4, 2, 4, 2. Now if I move that accent onto beat 3 only, you get what is generally referred to as half-time feel, because you've got half the amount of accents in a bar. So what I'm going to play you is a bar of normal time and then a bar of half-time. double the accent up so instead of normal time I'm going to go to double time which would lend itself to more of a country feel so here's the normal time feel which I will then jump to double time ok so everything I've played so far has relied on a 16th note feel which has got groups of four within its, its structure. What if we played a triplet single stroke roll? So I'm thinking in groups of three now. Split your hands. Right hand on right, left hand on snare. Play that groove again. Let's speed it up and add a bass drum. You can obviously play that between the hi-hats and snare too. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson looking at single stroke rolls. Next time, we're going to take a look at flam rudiments. See you next time.